workers, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Please remain standing for our justice success check. Check your shoes, check your shirts, check your pants and shorts. If you look good, you feel good. <laughs> if you feel good, you're a better learner. You may be seated. Good morning, Northridge. Now it's time for the nutrition nuggets. Today we will be having chicken sandwich, Frito chili pie, yogurt, cheese and crackers, pasta salad, California blend veggies, cucumber slices, tiny tomatoes, Grace and low fat milk. <laughs> He's Hayden. I'm a dinosaur. And I'm Lucy. Welcome to the NRE Weather Friday Forecast. Friday night, partly cloudy and 51. Saturday, partly cloudy and 56. Sunday, rainy and 64. Monday, partly cloudy and 61. Thank you all so much for watching the NRE Weather for Day Forecast. Hi y'all, it's me again, Mrs. Lawson, and I am back to give you guys some more facts for Black History Month. Today I really want to focus on inventors, so everyday things that we use all the time that we had no idea were invented by black Americans. So the first thing I want you to do is look up. Do you see a light bulb, right? Who invented the light bulb? Thomas Edison. But did you know that in 1881, Louis Latimer created the carbon light bulb filament? Thomas Edison actually asked Lewis Latimer to join his team, and Lewis added the carbon filament to the light bulb, which made light bulbs last longer. Before Lewis's addition, light bulbs only lasted a few days before they needed to be replaced. The next one we have is Alexander Miles. So I'm sure you've been on an elevator before and you've seen the doors open and close automatically. It didn't always used to be like that. So Alexander Miles actually invented the automatic elevator doors in 1887. So before his invention, elevators were dangerous because you had to manually close the shaft and elevator doors before writing. Alexander was inspired to invent automatic doors when his daughter almost fell down the shaft. Have you been driving before and you see traffic lights? Garrett A. Morgan, invented the three light traffic light that we see all the time. He invented that in 1923. He also invented the gas mask and he improved the sewing machine. So I'm sure you've seen your favorite singer on YouTube or on TV and they were using a microphone. Well, in 1964, James E. West helped to invent the electric microphone and it's been revised since the original invention, but it was based on his, um, his original invention. Do you have maybe a home security system or maybe you have a ring doorbell? Well, in 1966, Mary Van Britton Brown, she felt unsafe in her neighborhood, so she created the very first home security system. The system had a camera, a microphone, a button to lock the door, and a button to call the police. Since then, it has um, improved drastically over time, but the original idea came from Mary Van Britton Brown. The very last inventor that I'm gonna talk about today is Lonnie G. Johnson. So I don't know if you've ever heard of the, one of the most famous water guns called the Super Soaker, but Lonnie G. Johnson was an aerospace engineer at NASA when he created the Super Soaker in 1989. Recently, Lonnie actually sued Hasbro, a toy making company, for unpaid royalties on the Super Soaker, and he won. The judge required Hasbro to pay Lonnie $72.9 million. 
You can also find a book about his invention in the library, and that book is called Whoosh. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit today about famous inventors that created things that we use every single day that you might, you might have already known, but maybe you had no idea that they were invented by black Americans. And again, I will be wearing my Black History shirt today. So please feel free to stop me and talk to me about anything you know about Black History that you want to talk to me about or if you have any questions. You guys have a great day. Hey, Mighty Bears. Uh, this is Miss Lowe here, and I just want to tell you how much I've enjoyed being here for the month of February. I have seen amazing things from y'all, and I never knew really seriously what a good school in Northridge was. I knew there was great teachers here and great administration and, and just an overall good feeling and culture. But I didn't know it until I really got to experience it. So y'all, um, this has kind of even changed my life. I could come out of retirement, but I can't. But I want to tell y'all that I will miss you and I don't want you to ever stop um, believing in yourselves. Oh, and I have an inspirational shirt. What's it say? Believe in possible. Believe impossible. So also real quick, I want to share something super good news. You know, you know, all the teachers were always in data meetings and stuff and looking at your results and y'all are growing leaps and bounds. And why? Because you care and you're motivated. So I want you to never give up, follow your dreams and remember to work hard and be nice to people. We have a birthday. What is your name? Ivana. And you're going to have a birthday. How old are you going to be? Bye. Happy birthday. Hi, my name is Sophia. My birthday is on March 1st. I'm turning 8 and I live in the Cedric class. Hi, my name is Ryan and my birthday is on February 29th and I'm going to be turning 2 because, um, because I'm leaving here and I'm in the Cedric class. Happy birthday. We have a birthday. What is your name? My name is Ernest Dizzle. How old are you? I'm, I'm, I'm seven years old. What is your teacher's name? My teacher's name is Miss Whitaker. Happy birthday. We have a birthday. What is your name? Jasmine. Jasmine. And how old are you going to be, Jasmine? Five. And who's your teacher? Yeah. Miss Maria and Miss Connor. And Miss Connor. Happy birthday. Hey, good morning. It's February 27th and it's my birthday, but I am so happy that I get to share my birthday with three awesome Northridge Bears. Happy birthday! Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. All from my city, all from my home. We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our. <laughs> Hayden, get your arms out. You can't. Yeah. Not, not, yeah. not for the pledge. I can't go. Good morning, Northridge. Shh. Next Linton. Time. Ernest, what is your name? Well, I'm saying it. Three, two, one, go.